channel if you've never seen me before hi my name is Yuki if you are a returning subscriber or a lurker mm -hmm. welcome back today I'm doing this Toka Makila inspired makeup look with the glitter and the pink and all of that Toka Makila is a Nigerian celebrity who is a media personality radio personality um, author as of last year just all around glam goddess okay so I saw this look on her Instagram a while back and I thought oh let me recreate that because pink is right up my alley so was glitter and yeah, it was just a no-brainer. So of course I had to add my own little flares to it because I'm extra, so I had to be extra with the liner, with the glitter, with the brows, with the highlight, with the contour, every, everything is just extra. Okay. So this look, I believe, was initially created by Anita Brows and done on Tokyo Makiwa. So I just used what I basically had to sort of recreate it. There is some controversy, you know, regarding Tokyo Makiwa and her brand and her image and all that stuff based on her personal life. All I, I mean, we're not here to talk about that. All I can say is that without a doubt, regardless of what your reservations are about her personal life and the advice that she gives here on YouTube, regardless of what your opinion is on who she is and what she stands for, it is without a doubt that she is able to turn her pain into profit. And I believe that her book has probably helped a whole lot of people as well, if not for them to learn new things, also to kind of solidify uh, the principles and values that they already had. Before you go anywhere, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell so that you can get notifications. When a new video goes up, you will be the very, very, very first to know you will never miss a video and you will be VIP I'm sure you want to be VIP if you want to see how I achieve this look please keep on watching I usually start off right away with the eyeshadow but I just wanted to show you guys a very quick start to finish after moisturizing I prime my face with the benefit professional I use the black opal stick foundation in nutmeg and yes it looks very orange but I'm okay with it because the orange in this foundation covers up the hyper pigmented areas of my skin which means I do not have to color correct thank you Jesus the end product doesn't look as orange as it appears to in the beginning after applying with a regular foundation brush I take it a step further by buffing it in with a dense brush for my brows, lately I've switched over to just using the ABH Brow Wiz in dark brown. I was previously using the Dip Brow Pomade and Brow Wiz together, but I, I think I kind of like the Brow Wiz by itself, so I might just end up alternating between the two. Don't forget to use very light strokes when you get to the start of the brows. I will have up a detailed brow routine, so don't worry if you don't catch most of this. I clean up with the Black Opal Concealer in Honey. My own personal trick that I discovered to prevent halo brows is to use the same brush I used to apply my foundation and blend out the concealer with that brush. It tones down the color while making sure the brow pops the way I want it to. Now for the eyeshadow, to make sure everything looks seamless, you have to prime. And I like to use the original Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And you can just pat and blend it all over the eyes with your finger. To set my primer, I'm using Raw Sienna from the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm placing it all over the eyes. You can use any eyeshadow or powder that's close to your skin tone. I'm then taking Burnt Orange, which is a light orange shade from the palette, and sweeping it a bit above my crease and taking it down to the lash line. Next I'm using Realgar, Realgar, whatever, which is a muted orange and I'll be placing that a bit above the crease as well and when most of the color is off the brush, I blend the shadow upwards. The reason I'm taking these above my crease is because I have hooded eyes and quite a bit of space to work with so placement will depend on your natural eye shape. For glitter, I'm using the Violet Voss Glitter in Pixie Pink and for the adhesive, I'm taking my Lit Cosmetics Clear Liquid Glitter Base. So I've mentioned this before but with this base, you want to dip your brush into the base and then into the glitter and apply to your lid applying the base first and then the glitter is just way too messy and I don't think that's how it was intended to be used but do you honey after removing fallout with some tape and reapplying foundation I lined my lower lash line with the NYX jumbo pencil in black bean 
And using Primavera from that same Modern Renaissance palette, I'm taking that to the inner corner. The Inglot AMC gel liner in number 77 for a dramatic wing. To make sure I don't mess up my wing with a sponge when I blend out my highlight, I'm taking that same black opal concealer and kind of creating a barrier which also cleans up the wing at the same time. For the brow bone, I used Vermeer from the same Modern Renaissance palette and to tone it down, I went over it with raw sienna and blended everything out. For my highlight, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in Cool Tan and blending it out with a damp Real Techniques, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is the jam right now, okay? Make sure to spend a lot of time blending it out, but don't poke your eye out though. Yeah. I'm baking with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Since I have this huge powder brush, I'm just taking a blending brush to dust off excess powder in the hard to reach areas of the face. A dusting brush is on its way to me, so don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Applying mascara, and yo, I literally make the weirdest faces when I'm putting makeup on. Oh my God, like, wow, why, why? I tried something new by taking the remainder of the setting powder on the brush to set the rest of my face. These are Mandy Lashes in the Style Bombshell. For contour, I'm placing the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer right where I want it and using a Real Techniques contour brush to blend it out. Blending, blending. The way I put on this makeup, baby. Blending, 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 blending. This is the Milani blush in Berry Amore. So far, I only own two blushes. You guys have already seen me use my MAC Raisin. I'm just not that big on blushes for some reason. I don't know why, like at least not yet anyway. And just contouring my nose and blending it out with that same contour brush. Stay hydrated, folks. It's the key to good skin. Highlight time. Why don't you blind your enemies with your highlight? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to come up with a song for every step of the makeup process, okay? The Glow, courtesy of LA Girl and the Strobe Light Powder in 50 watts. <laughs> so for my nose and cupid's bow, I blend it out with my finger, wipe off the excess on my hand or arm, and then blend again. It's just easier for me that way. And this is the Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in Mars. Once you're done, set your face with your favorite setting spray. I was being stingy and I'm almost out and I had nowhere to go after this, so I was not gonna waste it on this tutorial. Do not judge me, okay? <laughs> And this is the finished look. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment to let me know what you guys want to see or just to say hi. And I will see you in the next one, Lord willing. Stay blessed. Bye.